Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Contemporary Cardboard. I'm Nick, and today we have an unboxing of the super flicking game Crash Octopus by Eaton, G Eaton Games. Eaton, Eaton, sorry. <laughs> um, I actually just came back from Japan for a business trip and had to pick up a couple games while I was there, and this was one of them. So um, let's take a, take a look and see what comes inside. Uh, you might have to do some uh, translating here for me. I'm not exactly sure uh, what that says. Uh, probably says uh, age three and up is okay because um, there's a lot of uh, potential pieces that might uh, not work well with younger kids that like to put stuff in their mouths. But let's take a look and see what comes inside here. Smaller box than I thought based off the, the image on, on Amazon because I got this off of Je Je uh, Amazon... Uh, JP. Um, let's take a look here. Hopefully there's English rules for me. <laughs> um, we do have a QR code, looks like, hopefully to learn the rules. Um, table contents. It is a relatively thick rule book, so hopefully there's multiple languages. It is not. It is all in Japanese, because I did get this from the... This is the Japanese retail version, um, not the Kickstarter version. Uh, I should have said that up front, so my apologies. But I'm sure I can find um, PDF online, so I'm not too worried about that at all. But just thought it would be really cool to grab this one. Don't, didn't really know much about it. Um, I currently missed the Kickstarter, which af af reading it after I got this, like, um, see, wish, wish I, uh, reach, wish I uh, did the Kickstarter. But interesting vertical um, rule book here. I'm not sure if that is uh, Japan-specific or not. I'm very... Uh, uh, ignorant when it comes to this type of stuff, I have to admit. Uh, if anyone wants to translate this little note from Etten, please do, and leave it in the comments below. Looks like a nice little note. How does, and a little ad for, I, I did see this game on uh, Amazon JP as well. Um, looks interesting. A little Loch Ness Monster game. Not, again, not sure what this one is either. It looks like another, okay, ad. This is an ad flyer. This is another game I thought about picking up. I've seen it in person at um, PAX Unplugged 2019. This one as well. This one, um, from what I could tell, is you hide the Yeti around your room, and then it's like basically hide and seek, and it's just a couple wooden components there. Yeah, see, look, you, you just... You hide it in the bookshelf, in between the books or whatever, and then take a blurry photo of Bigfoot or the Yeti. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. This looks like some stick, uh, blank stickers. Sheet here, I'm not sure what's going on there. Again, it's all in Japanese, so I personally don't know what's currently going on when it comes to the rule books. But my understanding is there's an octopus. Look at this, look at this. Uh, with a bunch of, looks like more than eight, no, maybe there's eight tentacles in there. <laughs> But so this octop this giant octopus, as you can see from the uh, the box, like ha causes a shipwreck, multiple ships to wreck. Every player I think has their own ship, and you're trying to flick your um, your cargo back to your boats. So this is a huge dome, half dome thing here, half half sphere dome that represents the head that goes out on the on the table, and then uh, you have the tentacles that I would imagine you have to avoid. Look at this; it's all quality. Uh, wooden pieces, which is just a great, like if you've played any other Etten games that have, eaten Etten, sorry, <laughs> games that have uh, wooden components, uh, these are very solid. Uh, they feel great, chunky. That's kind of where a lot of the, the price tag goes. This is not, you know, for, I think this is around 35 US, and it's, you know, it's just some wooden pieces. But wooden pieces are, you know, pricey, right? It's like, here's some more wooden pieces, like, here's our, like, our cargo. In our, our, in our meeples that we have to like flick back to our ships. All, all wooden components. I'm not gonna take them all out, but you can see we've got some people that need saving. I'm not sure what the green cubes represent or the yellow. Uh, I'm not sure what anything represents to be honest with you. <laughs> um, but I know that's, this is just cargo that needs to be flipped, flipped, bleh, flicked back to our corresponding ships that uh, everyone has their own color-coded ship, so we got an orange player, purple player uh, ships, and we got green and blue still in the bag. So I keep mentioning this flicking. You don't flick with your fingers like um, uh, you t 
typically think you would, you flip with these little flaggy thingies. That's the technical term, flaggy thingies. So, wooden stick and, sorry, wooden stick. <laughs> this is the, for the green player. So my understanding is you will, uh, if this is the uh, table top there, you're gonna flick things that way back to your boat. That's that in, in that direction. So we got a wooden stick and this does feel solid. This is a sticker. I know you can zoom in there, but this part here is still very much solid. Like, you know, I could bend that, but I'm not, I don't want to obviously, but that's, that's got some rigidity, some resistance to it. Okay. So it's not just thin sticker. I feel like there might be, it might just be super thick stock card stock. If you can kind of zoom in, you can see right here, the thickness of it, so therefore it'd be double thick right here. So it looks like everyone gets two of these. I don't know why you need, you can only flick at once maybe, or maybe you can, I don't know. Again, Japanese rule book for this uneducated American. Um, <clears throat> what else we got? We got some, uh, we got a, a die that just has one or zero on it, it looks like. It looks like, so you got, a, and it, there's three dots and three blanks, so you got a 50% chance of rolling something there. And we got, uh, Sebastian the frog, trans, or sorry, the frog, I'm sorry, the uh, crab there. Um, I mean, he was a lobster, Sebastian was a lobster. I don't know. It's been a long couple weeks. I apologize, folks. I just got back last night. Um, some anchors. I'm not sure. Maybe this is a middle expansion. I think, if I remember right, I don't know. I don't know if the retail version got um, everything the Kickstarter did. But again, this is the retail version. We've got our very important... Um, very tasty uh, silica packet. It's a joke. Please do not eat that. Throw that away. I actually saw <laughs> you, someone go, you could buy a throw pillow with this exact text on it in this format. It looks like one of these packets that you put on your couch, and I kind of want to get one of those. I might have saw it on a board game uh, Facebook group. I'm not sure. We've got our little island uh, wood panel thing here. Very cool. And a little. Uh, Palm tree, again, words are hard today. Very nice, reminds me of uh, times I used to live in Florida. And the last little bit here is, looks like a, th a thick um, uh, shoelace that's got beads on it. And it is, yeah, it's it's a been uh, connected together for a loop. And this is like your boundary, if I remember right. I'm not gonna be able to <laughs> show it all, but then we've got these, uh, it's very long. Um, let me see. I'm, I'm looking. It's, this is off camera, I admit, but because again, I'm in an undisclosed location. Um, I would. This is very long. This might be a six foot piece of, uh, maybe even longer. Actually, I can do this. I would say it's probably like five foot loops, like a ten foot piece of, um, you know, shoestring made into a loop and they got these beads and this is how you keep score, I believe as well. Like you'll slide them around on the table. So this lays flat on the table. You keep everything in the boundary, in this boundary and that creates your play space. So you're uh, I think, like, you know, the first person to qu uh, correctly navigate by flicking all your, all your stuff back to your, all your, all your goods back to your ships by avoiding the octopus that crashed you and you win. That's my understanding. Um, this just came out, I believe, on Kickstarter. I don't even know if Kickstarter beggars have gotten it yet. Um, very shortly, hopefully. But that is this this is the unboxing of the retail version of Crash Octopus by Etten Games. So if you liked what you see, please like, comment, and uh, uh, subscribe to the video. Let me know you like it. Uh, let me know what games you'd like to see next. I have maybe one more uh, game to uh, um, unbox that's um, not as new as this one. From Japan, I had one this one on my radar for a while. This other game, and I'm uh, looking forward to checking that out. But uh, thanks again for watching.